Data isn't very interesting. In fact, it can be meaningless until you do something with it. With Access, you can structure and shape your data to give it the context that makes it not only useful, but downright indispensable. By incorporating some of the six Access components, or objects, into your database, you can make it easier to enter, find, visualize, and otherwise manage your data. Here are the six Access objects you can use to work with your data. Tables store your data. They're the backbone of your database. The field is the smallest piece of data in any database, and fields are organized into columns in your table. A collection of fields forms a record, and records are organized into your table's rows. In this way, your data fields and records are neatly organized as a table. Queries are questions you ask of your data. What were the fourth quarter sales, for example? Queries can also filter data and do math, such as calculating sums or discounts. The results are arranged in a table. Depending on the type of query, you can add or change data. Forms give your database a finished look. They can help you enter data quickly and provide buttons for navigating your database. Reports are how you arrange, distill, or visualize your data to better present or analyze it. When you need a chart or a graph to represent some of your data, you can add one to a report. Macros automate your database. They make something happen when you select a button. You can also create macros that carry out repetitive tasks for you. Modules also help automate your database in a bigger way beyond macros. You can perform powerful tasks by writing code using Visual Basic for Applications in modules. With modules, you essentially create a custom add-on for your database. Now that you've been introduced to the six database objects, let's look again at our example and learn about views. What you see here is the table object showing in datasheet view. Remember that the database object you're working with is always in a view of some kind, either a view for creating the object or a view for using that object. Here's another example. This table is now open in Datasheet view. You can use its tab to easily switch to Design view and see your many options for creating and changing the table. This form is open in Form view, which you can use to quickly add data to the underlying table. You can open the form in Layout view to add controls or change the form. This is where you create the form in the first place. The same is true with queries. You set up the query in Design View. Then, when you run the query, the results appear in Datasheet View. You can take it even further and open a query in SQL View and change the actual code if you need to. Some views do both jobs. For example, you can add data to this table, as you'd expect, but you can also change the design by adding fields. So now you know the six types of access database objects and the views where you can work with those objects. As you plan your database, think about what you want to do with your data. Your end uses for the data will help you determine which access objects will help you best realize your goals.